which shows your tank as an arrow. It also shows the position of your enemies and allies as icons. Your opponent this time, a training target, is the red icon on the map. Your allies' icons are blue. You can see several markers on the screen. The cursor, which the turret of your tank follows, the marker indicating the direction of the tank cannon, and the crosshairs that shows where the tank shell will hit. Take into consideration that the mouse aiming cursor is not a gun sight and only serves to help you turn the tank turret in the right direction. You should not... If you want to hit the enemy tank, wait for the turret to turn towards the opponent. Align the crosshair with the target. It will change color when it is over the opponent. And fire. Move the cursor over the... Wait until the tank turret finishes rotating and the weapon sight to be aligned with the cursor. Switch to gunner view. You can use zoom to get a better view. The aim assist indicator in the center of the screen shows where the shell will strike when you fire a shot. It turns red if the current shell cannot pierce the armor, yellow if it is possible to pierce, and green if your shell can easily pierce the armor. Depending on your target's armor thickness, the aim assist indicator changes to various colors. One of the best ways to destroy a tank is to put its crew out of action. Move the reticule over the central area of the tank. Now, fire at the fighting compartment on the tank. Target. When a shell penetrates armor, the x-ray window appears in the top right corner. This shows which parts of the tank and which crew members took damage. The enemy tank is considered destroyed if it has no crew members remaining inside. Great! If there was any crew in this vehicle, they would be in big trouble. Now, switch to third-person view. Another effective way of destroying at least immobilize most armored vehicles have their engines at the rear continue by moving the reticule onto the rear of the indicated tank now switch to gunner view and fire at the tank engine if the engine ammo rack or fuel tanks inside the tank are damaged this may cause an explosion or start a fire Good job! Move on to... Now, you have to complete a real combat assignment. Capture and hold a strategic point. You can see a marker above the capture point. If the marker is white, this means that the point is currently neutral. Move to the capture zone.
capture the zone while it still has enemy vehicles in it. Destroy the enemy tank. Hit! Mission accomplished. <laughs>